Hey everyone, I'm going to show an alternative way you can mod. So I'm already in mobile VR station. So let's go to content browser first. Then let's go to modding resources. All right, so I'm on my website and I need to download these three apps. So let's go to the first one. And then I want to wait for it. Download the APK. And I got to watch out, it's trying to sneak stuff around. I want to download the A APK. And let's let it go. I think I finished, done. Let's go back to modding resources once again. All right, then let's get the second app. And this is a different site, download. I want to download it from GitHub. And then I want the latest version of this APK. So let's click it. And now it's downloading. All right, now let's go again, modding resources. Let's go and get Z Archiver. All right, and we're going to do it again. We need to download Z Archiver. So let's wait a bit, download it, close the ads, scroll down, close all the ads, download APK. And it's downloading. All right, I believe it's done. Done. All right. So now we've downloaded all the stuff that is necessary. So the next part is we need to now install it. So let's go use that tricky way. We're going to go to the configuration wizard, show all options. Then we're going to go configure scope storage. Then we're going to then request access, which gives us this little window here, which is, you know, meta blocked it for your privacy. So we have to go and do this other way now. Let's go quest three. Let's go download. All right. And then I've downloaded these files multiple times. So there's a, there's a, there's a lot of duplicates. So let's firstly install activity launcher and continue and install. Now let's install this uh, Shizuku. All right, and let's click the little four leaf clover, continue, install. Oh, and then if this window isn't working, you might need to uh, crash the headset, you know, use that other option to crash and try again. Sometimes this window just doesn't show up, done. All right, and then we need to install Z Archiver. Click the little four leaf clover, continue, install. All right, done. All right, now mobile beer station's done. We can close out of it. All right, doesn't matter. All right, so close that, don't need that. All right, I wanna go into my library, then I'll go into unknown sources. All right, which even if you're not a developer, it just shows up because there are files here. All right, so what you wanna do is first I wanna launch Activity Launcher. All right, and then I'm going to accept. All right, now I'm gonna scroll down until I find settings. Here's settings. All right, then I wanna run settings up here. Now this is the Android settings. I'm gonna take this window uh, and drag it over here on the left side. This is gonna be the left side. Okay, now let's launch the activity. Okay, so here's settings. So what I wanna do, I wanna go about the headset. All right, and then down here is the build number. You want to hit that like seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm already a developer, so that's what it's just going to tell me. So I'm going to go back now. I'm going to go into system. Now, in here, developer options are shown. What do you want to do? We want to turn on a few things. Probably turn on USB debugging and turn on wireless debugging. So we're going to click that. We're going to turn it on. I want to say allow. All right, so now wireless 
debugging is turned on. Now, one annoying thing is usually when your headset restarts, you're going to need to turn that back on again. So you have to rerun this whole process one more time. Let's go into this wireless doing. Okay, so we're good here. Now, let me just go ahead. I'm going to forget that just to make life easy. So this is a fresh new thing. All right, now let's go back into library. I want to run Shizuku. All right, so now here it is over here. Here's settings over here. So I'm actually going to drag this to the right. I want them separated. All right, now I want to do pairing. All right. Now it's telling me I need to go over here and do something. So I'm going to go over here. Pair device with pairing code. All right, look, I have a number. It wants a number. So nine, two, one, two, oh, seven. Okay. And now look down here. It's showing up in the list of pairing things. That's good. Let's start it. Oh, and then sometimes when you go to, when you go to, start this it will like complain so you might need to turn it off and on again for it to work right all right so now at the moment it is running so this is good now another step let's go into library let's go into z archiver so this is what we're going to we're going to be using to basically be our file manager so okay okay i'll access manage all files yes go ahead okay Access is denied. Settings. Root. All right. We're going to change this into Shizuku. Turn on, turn on. All right. All right. Okay. Everything is working now. So now I can go into Android. You know, Got to be careful. You click on the text, don't click on the icon. Android, data. Okay, and now you see over here, it's trying to ask for access. So I'm going to say allow all the time. So now this app is talking to this app. All right, so now I can go into data. Oh no, I did it again. Data. And now we are actually inside of the Android data folder, which was previously denied to us via the scope storage changes. So now we have access to basically, you know, all the folders that we used to need to have access to. So we can go to Blade and Sorcery, Files, here is its mod folder. So what you would do is, you know, use the Quest browser. You can go to Nexus, then you can then download mods like you would used to, and then they would be in your download folder. Then you should be able to then, you know, basically extract them using Z Archiver. So there'd be a folder. You can then copy said folder. If you click and hold, it'll give you options. So you can copy. So if we want to copy a file, we can copy a file. It's now copied. I believe then you use this little icon over here to paste. But extract your mod, copy the folder, then navigate back into Android data, the game you want to mod, which would be Blade and Sorcery or Phone Lab, maybe Ragnarok, you know, which doesn't have a built-in mod browser. So go to, you know, so then Blade and Sorcery, files, mods, paste it in there, then it should work as it used to. Now, I do believe, you know, if you have to turn your headset off and on again, then you basically need to redo this thing. You need to use the activity launcher to launch settings, to turn back on wireless debugging. You need to turn back on this app over here, which will basically run in the background, but you need to turn it on and start it, you know, start the wireless version of it up. So then your Z archiver can have access. So if you're not trying to mod, you can just kind of ignore it. But if you need to mod, you need to remember all these steps. But it should still be paired. So that's one good thing. So you just need to turn on wireless debugging as that does not stick. You know, start this over here. And then Z Archiver should be able to, be able to do everything. All right. Thanks.